Welcome back to another back page gaming video today. We're bringing you some more tactics, ladies and gentlemen. We know you love these videos. Jack has been telling me that he's got a little bit sick of mode in foot champs with some new 4 2 3 1 tactics. I don't think we've brought you any of these this year, so a bit of a mix up. Jack, take it away, my friend. Yes, Rob. Went 16 4 in champs, and then I also got rank 1, which is 10 and 0 in qualifiers. I've gone back to the days of old, Rob. FIFA, like, what, 20? Vibes like four two three one was Everyone every single it. game, and Robbie, I think it's it's really strong this year. But I think people have kind of got a bit obsessed with the narrow, uh, the yeah. four one two one two. That is, let's get into them. Uh, yes. So we played the four two three one, as we said, just the normal one. Um, this one yeah, a bit wide, makes a bit it a left wide. mid and a right mid. Yeah. Don't want that. All right, lads. Um, the reason I kind of wanted to play this formation was because. I felt like I was defending. I've, I feel like I've turned to shit yeah. in terms of defending on FIFA this year. Um, or not this year, but I, with the latest patch, I don't know why, but I just feel like it's got diff more difficult. Yeah. And I thought, 4 2 3 one, it's formation I know. I know I have to defend in it. You get the two CDMs who, you know, if you've got a very good player or two very good players in there, they're going to cover some serious ground, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. By the way, this, the, this bit is nothing... Like outrageous, like balance All 35, 20, 50. Um, I did actually try, try out drop back because I know a lot of more people are playing it now. I find yeah. that you, I just find it too difficult against the good players. It invites Listen, pressure too much, I think. Yeah, against good players, you're just going to get battered by it with yeah. drop back. Against players that are kind of like a similar level or whatever, you, you know, you're probably fine, but it's just not worth it. I did yeah. also try long ball and balanced. Yeah. Didn't quite get on with it, so we went for the classic balanced and direct passing. Honestly, really, uh, really quite inspired. Yeah, we went for forty-five width, and then I also I went for four players in the box, Robbie. Right? Right. Much less. Yeah, than I usually go for. I suppose you don't want your CDMs committing too much. No, do you? no, because they do naturally anyway. Yeah. And I find that I did try it on five at first. I've actually, I've, I feel like I've actually refined these quite well, Rob. I've, I'm pretty yeah. proud of myself. Uh, I found that when you had five, it was a little bit too attacking. Yeah, uh, I found that. Your CDM really did get forward. The the one that naturally gets forward more anymore for me. Yeah. That is Graham and Birch. Uh, corners free kicks, it doesn't matter. Vinicius and Mbappe are perfect examples of what you need on the wing. Yeah. You need pace. They need to be absolutely rapid. Um, because they, And you need to have good stamina as well, which both of these do. Yeah. Because they're up and down the pitch a lot for me. Um, and then the CDM is kind of like more anchor. If anything, they don't get back as much in a way, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, these two, you know, you, you're often tag teaming people with your, your full back and your winger. And you just, it, it feels a lot more secure because then when you do win the ball back, you've got that CDM to play the LB, you know, the the you know the LB or L1 pass. Yeah. Uh, and then then they're off. You know, they're gone with the wind. And Mbappe is uh, he's quite nifty. Uh, he's quite nippy, I should say. So that is that, Rob, as I unprofessionally get the tactics up on my phone. So, instructions, we have got Target Man. Uh, this is one that you introduced mm -hmm. me to, Rob. I know you used it, it on is. your 4 and 2 and 2 tactics. Yeah. And I really like it. I like the way that Cantona kind of, like, sort of works drop in with a bit, it. don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cantona also suits the suits the role really well. Um, I think having it on basic defensive as well helps a lot. Yeah. Um, because they don't they don't get isolated as much um, as they might do without it. Cam is pretty standard just on stay forward. Then, on the wingers, now, this is where I got a bit funky, because I hate... You know when you put them on comeback on defence on 4-4-2? Yeah. I find that they just never get forward quick enough for me. Um, they're too, they're just a little bit too deep. Yeah. Whereas, I've got them on comeback on defence, get into the box, and then conservative interceptions. So, okay. they're there, but they're not particularly trying <coughs> too hard to get involved. Yeah. Um, you know, your fullback is the main guy that you're going to you you're going to control, and then you're going to... RB, um, you know, second man press with these guys. Yeah. So, and also I find that having to get into the box for crosses, CDMs, I've gotten cut passing lanes, stay back, and then cover centre. I did have them on free roam. If you're a friend of the channel, you know that on my 352, I did like free roam, but yeah. I don't want this. I need it. It's quite a rigid formation. It's quite, you know, very. It's not. Doesn't give players freedom in yeah. a way. If that, if that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know, it's up to you. It makes them play a specific way, and I think that specific way 
is how you can win games in FIFA. It's yeah. a very overpowered formation. Is that on both the regard. CDMs? Both the same? Yes, on both of them. I, w- okay. I, th- I think you you always want to keep, for me personally anyway, you want to keep like, play, like instructions symmetrical. Yeah. Because I find that when you know you, your team gets more compact, yeah. and generally it plays more like a four four one one sometimes, which you know is, is actually quite nice really. And then in the attack, it plays more like the, you know you've got your, your three cams and then yeah. your striker. Uh, over on the fullbacks, you've got to stay back and overlap. It's taken me a while to get used to overlap. Yeah, to be honest, you Rob. like that a bit, don't you? Um, I, I've really, I have really come to like it because. I find it's really frustrating when you're trying to attack with your fullbacks. You know, granted, you might not do it all the the entire game, but when they do make those inverted runs, it's so frustrating. I want them to run beyond me. Yeah. All the time. And then keeper is on, comes for crosses, and sweeper keeper. Mate. It's that simple. I think often we get, you know, we bog ourselves down with, with yeah, tactics. Definitely. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be that complicated, honestly. They are... Very simple. Uh, yes, I've been using it Lone Pally in the captain's objective. Don't call me a rat. <laughs> Rob, that's the tactics. That's the team. Let us know down below what you've been using recently. I've seen a lot of different formations in the Elite Division. Um, yeah, I think the, t- as much stick as we give EA, I think this year more than any, there's a more variation to tactics people are using. Oh, for sure. Um, Absolutely. definite ways to counter different formations. The one. It's just a matter of, of learning that. In a way. Yeah, uh, in terms of what this counters, by the way, really well. Um, it doesn't count the four one two one two so well, in my opinion. To be honest with you, I think simply because if your play, if your wide players get dragged out quite a lot, you, you yeah. do feel a bit, little bit vulnerable through the middle. But in terms of like four four two and three five two, I find that this really counts them really quite well. Yeah. If you're playing against four one two one two, I typically go into four one two itself. I think it's okay. it's best counters is, yeah. is itself. But lads, they've been the tactics. That's been the team. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been Jack. I've been Robbie. And we'll be back page again. We'll see you in the next one. See you later.